All right, welcome back to 6.40 a.m. The Mix. And in today's video, it's going to be another edition in the cycling series. And today we're going to try to tackle that dreaded rear tire change. And that's coming up next. All right, let's get right to the action. We're in the uh, cycling shop. We got all the tools laid out. I'm going to show you what's going on, and let's get to, uh, to uh, changing that rear tire. All right, welcome back to 6:40 a.m. The mix, and once again, we've teamed up with the crew at Do Cycling to bring you another cycling series video. And today, we're going to do the dreaded rear bike tire change. As you can see, we've ran over something right here, and it's given us a flat. So we're gonna change it. Okay, we have the uh, Crivet bike stand that we're gonna use. I've done a review on this uh, piece already. If you wanna take, go back and take a look at the uh, Crivet bike stand, but that's what we're gonna use to make life a lot simpler on the uh, tire change. And we're gonna be using it on the Trek Marlin number five. Let's get to it. Okay, first thing we gotta do is get the bike up on the stand. We've done that. You can see uh, cells are flat. Luckily, we got a quick release on, on the Trek Marlin 5. And let's get to it. Okay, we got ourselves a box of bicycle tubes. Perfect for the uh, Trek 29 times 1.75 and 2.3. With the Schrader valve, good to go. All right, this is where we're gonna take a break in the action and you can see the temperature is 86 degrees and it feels a lot hotter with that sun beating down on me. I realized I didn't have any sunscreen. So it was time to break everything down and uh, move operations over to the uh, side of the shop, the bicycle shop there and hopefully be able to continue the repair in uh, much uh, uh, cooler conditions without the sun beating on my head. So uh, let's get back to the action. Okay, like I said, we've moved operations over into the shade, got the bike back on the stand, and it's time, uh, time to get to work. Okay, like I said earlier, this, uh, this Trek Marlin 5 has the quick release in the rear as well as the front. Uh, so the first thing you gotta do is uh, right there, uh, uh, release the uh, pressure and then uh, loosen the bolt. It's like a skewer that goes right across the uh, rear hub there on the other side. There's another screw and a spring. Just be careful to uh, watch how everything's assembled. So when you uh, disassemble it, you just put it off to the side and, uh, and then you can quickly uh, put it back together again when you're putting the uh, tire back onto the frame. Right now I'm loosening that screw bolt and I'm gonna take out, there's the skewer with the whole quick release uh, mechanism removed. And now we can take the, uh, the uh, bike, uh, the rear tire off the uh, frame of the bike. And we'll do that momentarily. <laughs> okay, now it's time to uh, start working on that rear tire, get the tire off and uh, Fix that flat. Thank you. 
Okay, we got the uh, tire off. Now we're taking off the tube. Oh yeah, I can hear the air rushing out. Okay, we got the new tube, and I'm just going to put a little bit of air in here. Just make it a lot easier to handle putting it onto the, uh, onto the wheel set. Now, everybody does it differently, but I like to get the tube onto the uh, actual wheel set there, the frame, uh, and then put the uh, outer tire onto the frame. That's how I do it. You're going to see that uh, in a minute or so, but usually I start with the tube, put it through the, uh, the Schrader valve through there. You're going to see that, and then that's how I start. I'm checking to see if there's any uh, debris or anything else that might cause a flat on the, uh, on the rim there. Uh, I also check the inside of the tire. I take a towel and just wipe it through the inside of the tire to take out any debris that might cause another flat. Okay, now it's time to get the uh, tube and then the tire back onto the wheel uh, rim there. And uh, it's kind of hard to do, so it's on a little on and off camera, but I'm doing the best to keep it on camera there. There it is. Okay, we have the tire ready, and now it's time to put it back onto the uh, frame of the bicycle. Let's get to it. Almost there. Just giving it the old uh, do cycling bounce test. All right, this is, uh, remember what I said at the beginning of the video, just keep everything uh, uh, in order, how it was uh, disassembled, because now this is the assembly part, and uh, hopefully you have everything uh, lined up correctly. Uh, got to get that chain back on, um, and uh, then we got to put the uh, quick release back on and make sure that uh, it cycles correctly. Okay, we got the tire back on. I'm cycling through the, I'm shifting through, make sure everything is, is working. It's spinning freely, it's shifting correctly. I think we're just about uh, good to go. And now we're gonna just uh, get it off the frame. Did I mention I love uh, freewheeling? I love to freewheel, love that sound. Okay, there you have it, a rear uh, tire change uh, due to a flat on a multi-speed bike. Uh, step by step, I hope this helps you out. Uh, if you get a flat tire and you want to get back in the game, especially the weather's nice, uh, uh, summer by you, great time to get out there and ride. You don't want to let a flat tire uh, uh, slow your roll, uh, pun intended, uh, but this showed you how to change a uh, rear uh, tire on a multi-speed bike. Uh, obviously, front tires are much, much simpler. You don't have to deal with the uh, chain, but uh, most of it uh, also applies. So with that, I hope this video was helpful. Check the description for any additional content. Uh, comment below and uh, like and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time right here on 640 AM The Mix. Thanks to the crew at Do Cycling for teaming up with us for this uh, cycling series video. Thanks for watching, everyone.